right, here we are back at the claim. No eagle up on the ridge today. What's the date? Monday, April 22nd. So here we are, 10.30 in the morning. It got cold enough last night. It hailed yesterday. <laughs> the bit of ground that was softened up here is actually frozen. So we're going to try and get further down. We're not going to worry about collecting samples because all we're finding is nickel. So to work we go. Beautiful quiet morning, a bit chilly. We got gloves, made a few tools, great big uh, metal heavy steel blade made out of a, um, a spring steel from a car or truck, All right, hammered it into an old fence post I had kicking around. That's going to be for busting up the hard stuff. That little one that Andy's got going there is the second one of those, and that's for chipping. Just chipping around the stones, and <laughs> I don't know if you watched the previous videos, but that stuff down there is so compact, it's almost like busting up old cement, you know, porous old cement. You're literally chip, 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 chip. So even without the, the freezing that's gone on because it's exposed, um, it was almost as difficult before anyway. So. But we got to get down. We got to get some serious dirt out of here. So I'm not going to hold a camera all day. We will take uh, some video here and there. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful place. Love it out here. <laughs> that ain't going to do anything, dude. You're going to wear yourself out with that one. <laughs> Little spade. So we're widening it out here. It's crazy. Okay, he's only down right now about 18 inches, two feet, somewhere in there. All these boulders came out of that. All right. Give you an idea of the dirt. It is just loaded with boulders of all sizes, beach stones, boulders, whatever. Most of them are well rounded, a few of them are a little different, broke up. But we're going to widen it out, and that way it makes it easier to dig down because it was too narrow and things were frozen. Where, we, where he's standing, it's frozen still. We're going for some softer stuff here and work our way down from there. Just uh, seeing dirt, but Oh, right there. Son of a gun. I don't know if it's going to... Check chip pieces. Yeah. Let's take Put the old glasses on and see what you got there. Uh... Okay, so there's a visible showing of a metal right there in front of my thumb. You can see the shine now. It appears to be nickel. It's in the right kind of rock. There's all the sparklies we found before, but it's not much on that one. That's going to be possibly. Yeah. Yeah, nothing big on that one. But that's just in some of the boulders. Um, we have a collection of boulders over here, or s smaller ones, that um, Andy has kept aside. They triggered the metal detector. And one of them had a visible showing, if I can find it. I'm not sure where it is. Lots of them have silicates in them. 
that shiny stuff and sometimes he does grab those because he's not used to this yet. Hmm. I don't know, there was one here, I saw it even without my glasses, it actually had something in it. There's a nice piece of quartz. Visible in it though. Mm. Okay, I'm not sure what to think. I could have sworn there was one in here with something obvious in it. Maybe it's the big guy. Oh, that's definitely full of metal. It's purple. Right here. And right here, it's all purple. So, yeah, that explains why that set it off. There's a lot of iron in that by the looks of it. Uh, purple is also an indicator of copper. So, anyway. The rock hound. This is an easy chip rock. It's quite sandish stone. But yeah, it's it's degrading. You can chip it easy. Yeah. Look at that. He just busted that open. Nothing showing that I can see, but it definitely has some different materials in it. Okay. We'll get down further and we'll come back. Shiny speck on that. See if I can. That little speck might be nickel, but it's actually bigger than a speck. Actually, if that was it in our hands. I'd be a picker. Yeah, that's the largest flake we've found so far, and it's actually a chunk. Yeah, largest one yet. It's in a rock, chipped in a rock. He's digging a hole to see how far we could go. Getting the rocks out of it. These are all the rocks, but they're not all chipped. These are chipped ones. And this is one that's chipped and has one in it. It's fair size. It's not anywhere else on it though, but it's fairly good. Alright. Going after the big one. Now, We've only had one other about that size, the rest have been smaller. That's got to be about 16, 18 inches across, lengthwise. We don't know how deep yet. So, Brutus there, the great big Roman spear, has come in to chip around. If Brutus was attached to a machine, this thing would be out of there already. <laughs> stopped as soon as I got there. I'm trying to get it so the sun's not messing with it. There we go. Serious amount of work just for a boulder, eh? That stuff around it is just packed in. Okay. Nice red in here. Yeah. All red. All right, we got her out. Oh. <laughs> that one wore me out, wore Andy out before that. Oh. Big honking quartzite boulder. So now that we got that out, we're pretty much in this end now, beneath where it flows over on us, because that's where his foot is over there. It is so frozen worse than the hard digging. Look at that, he's splitting rocks. Looking for gold inside the rocks while he's doing it. What a what a guy. Yeah, it's quite green. 
You get greens and purples in a lot of these rocks. You can see a lot of shiny little silicates. There's uh, quite a bit of copper in the area just north of us. Proven copper vein. And it could be what the anomaly underneath this spot is because if that anomaly goes up to the claim above us where copper, uh, minor amounts of gold were found uh, right on the, oh jeez, I'm winded, right on the surface there. There was some that was coming up and uh, degrading. So we're hoping it's not too much further down and I need a break. little piece of silver or nickel. Lots of these rocks have nickel in them. There, we're back down to our two and a half foot level, but we've got to widen out another foot. So, our pile keeps growing. He keeps finding shinies. <laughs> yeah, a little bit of shinies with micro stuff. Yeah, it's all the uh, silicates. They just shine like crazy. Sadly, nothing special. Okay, so I dug out a little little stone. Andy took it and split it. Right there, we've got visible gold on both of them. Just a little bitty, tiny nugget inside a rock is our first gold. There we go. Rectangular shape. It yeah, is. it was an oddball shaped rock. That's why I threw it up to him. I said, here, check this out. It's it's an odd shape. Yes, it's rolled, but it's rectangular. Most of them are, are boulders, you know. So there you go. There is gold on the property. How it got here, well, it came from somewhere. <laughs> yeah. But it's in the place for gravels, and that's what you're looking for. If we ground up enough of this stuff between the nickel, the bit of copper that's here, now little flakes of gold, you come away with something, but it'd cost you a mighty fortune to grind all this to powder and then process it just for a tiny, tiny now. little bit of gold, yeah. right? Well, so we are still we are still busting away down here. There's a great big boulder buried in there I'm working on, sorry, right here. And uh, when we get that out and start digging down from there, because we got about a two foot square, we'll see what's down there. Okay, we got some, some more whoppers out. That one there, <laughs> nine inch boot, uh, 10 inch boot, sorry. And yeah, our pile's gotten a little higher. And we're still, because we're having to widen out the base to, and every time you get one that's sticking out of the sides, you gotta get into it. So we're going a little bit wider than what we'd hoped, but, and this stuff is literally like old concrete that's been underwater for years, you know, it's degrading. You don't bust it so easy because it's in the ground, you gotta chip at it. A hilti would have been nice. Like inside there. <laughs> so that, that rock there I could not get out of the bank, it was stuck in. I got Brutus there that Andy's using in behind it. Then I stuck the little guy here upside down in it, inside that one, and Pride. And she came rolling out. Lots of work. All right, Andy just busted through, pulled out a couple of good sized ones, and underneath we've got something rather different. Um, there's not as much grit and sand between these smaller pebbles that are down here, but there's a whole layer of pebbles with medium sized boulders sitting on top. Larger bowls, boulders were on that. So we're thinking we might be getting near bedrock. That might be an awesome sign. We'll know for sure, we'll get this, um, He's going to clean out down there and then I'm going to widen it out, take away the edges out around where he's standing and stuff, and then we'll be able to get down further. So, 
we'll do that. But that is definitely, here let me zoom in a little. And you can see the difference there. Everything above that is so packed with gritty, gritty stuff that's hard to bust up. This stuff is looser, it's moving, and there's not as much of it in between the stones. That's perfect. And I found first gold. Andy's got to find last gold or most gold. <laughs> most gold. <Tavern> cave. <laughs> the last foot and a half down there has gone so much easier. Here, stand back there. <laughs> Almost as tall as he is, he's around 5'4", so there you go. There you go. You gained a whole foot. And we had to come out quite a ways to do it and get rid of all the big boulders. You can see our boulders are starting to spread. And now it's all smaller stuff. That's about as big as we're getting right now. And it busts up so easy. I think what we've done is we've hit the permafrost layer, the bottom of it and there's been settling below that over time. Somehow it's gotten... Well, mind you, this ground could have been semi-frozen too that we were digging through and that could have been part of the reason it was so hard because we're still early enough in the year. But down here is... Man, that's amazing. So much easier to work with. And down there looks like... <laughs> looks like that. All right, your turn. Jump in the hole. Zoom in a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, like he's six one. Whoa, we're zoomed in or what? Yeah, I zoomed in. Oh, dude. <laughs> that was a long way in. Okay. So there you go. We're at three feet. So we had. The first two feet and we had about eight or nine inches and that was all hard hard slugging and ever since we broke through down there that last foot or so has just been flying by comparison we've both taken a turn in there already and uh, yeah it's coming out so we're still finding rocks with nickel in them some visible Especially when you crack them, the darker rocks. Okay, that one. Yeah. Rock. Yep. See, that's the stuff from above, and that. Yeah, that's what it is. That stuff is frozen still. So we were busting through compressed and frozen dirt, right? And it was a pain. But now that we're past it, and there seems to be some settling going on. There's actually holes you can follow and dig in around the rocks and boulders. So we got the biggest ones off the surface and now it's all smaller baseball size and down. Uh, you can see the darker side of the pile there. That's basically what we're pulling out of here. So, we'll let Andy work at it for a bit. Okay, the hole has swallowed Andy up. <laughs> he is down there. We hit a clay layer. It was, uh, you can see the size of the cobblestones have gotten smaller than the ones on top here. And just beneath those, we hit clay. And that's what he's trying to get the stones out of right now. Because we want to take a sample of that home with us and see if there's any gold. Well, stand in your hole there for a second. We'll see how deep we are now. Yeah. Okay, so we're up to ground levels about his shoulder. Yeah, we're getting there. Starting. A 
about five feet. <laughs> that was a lot for one day. We still have not found bedrock. We got a bucket of clay, and now we're hitting more coarse gravels, uh, small ones, you know, little ones, and sand. Compacted sand again. The tools are doing great. They worked amazing. But we're wore out. So that's it for today. We'll run this in the next couple of days and see if we found anything in that clay layer. And hopefully we'll get out here in about a week and be able to dig a little deeper and hopefully find bedrock. Because that bedrock's got an anomaly in it and we want to check it out. Plus we want to see if there's any gold sitting on top of it. And he said he didn't want to go to China. He found it on a plate. Mm. And that was good enough for him. <laughs> Alright, shut it in.